Hola, buenas noches guys. John here in the Disneyland for guys all around the world. This is the real Disneyland, the happiest place on earth. Definitely one of the happiest places on earth. So today I want to talk about the new going rate going into 2024. Uh, yeah, 2024. What is the uh, prices? I did some market research for you guys so you don't gotta worry or gotta go around. I asked a bunch of the street girls what their going rate is. I asked a bunch of the girls what their going rate is. And I'm gonna share that with you because I get a lot of people writing comments and wondering what's going on. And like I did a video a couple months ago with the prices and the prices that I named in that or that I mentioned in that other video has already surpassed what it was back then and sad to see it's only getting worse guys and I don't know if it's because of inflation or like even the the peso is being like a lot stronger than the dollar like right now at the exchange houses based on today's date now it's like at 16 point fucking eight sometimes 16.2 I've seen at the lowest and uh, hovering around 16.5 to 16.8 is what the average going rate is for the exchange houses here so that means it's really bad it was once at 22 to one dollar but now it's fucking 16 let's just say 16.8 16 and a half and that makes a big difference and then at the clubs they still give it 17 so even though it's 16 uh elsewhere at the um exchange houses the casas de cambio 16 point whatever the clubs are still keeping it at 17 so you're better off using dollars when you come when the rate is higher in the club than what you can get it for from the atm machine or from uh exchange house so uh well let's first talk about the street growth so i walked around and i asked a bunch of the street girls like what's their going ray what does it come with and uh like the, first off, I'll tell you, the quality of the street girls has improved from the last couple of times I've been coming. The quality of the street girls have been really improving. There's a lot of pretty ones. There's a lot of young, younger, uh, skinny, and like not with some without kids and don't look so ran through. And like, you're gonna have a, a much better selection now than before. It's, uh, Still a good price is compared to like what you're paying in the club, but it used to be a lot cheaper. Um, you know, before you used to be able to get it for 200 pesos, which is like 10 or 12 bucks, but now that ain't happening, I guess, unless you're fucking Mexican, right? And so uh, I walked the streets and I asked the girls all the way behind these clubs. The street behind these clubs is the, the place where all the girls stand out and then going up uh, north, on the this corner over here the corner back here if you go north if you turn right and go all the way up the street there's girls on that corner going up that street too i asked them to and so i'll start off with the girls going up the street which is kind of like off the beaten path they'll tell you i said hey how much and she wasn't bad looking she was decent and uh she said uh 500 pesos i'm like oh 500 pesos which is probably like 30 bucks right now at the, the exchange rate and i said Ooh, 500 pesos, what does that include? And she's all, oh, it only includes uh, me with the bottoms naked and one position and that's it. And I said, and then she's all, I said, for how long? She's all 15 minutes. I'm like, oh, that's why it's so cheap. So she said 500 pesos, which is 15 minutes, one position uh, with just the clothes off from the waist down, she said. And then I said, how much for the uh, other parts? She said 150 pesos for a BJ and then 150 pesos for uh, uh, clothes off. So that's an extra 300 pesos, which is roughly around 20 bucks to uh, get the rest. And it'll be uh, 15 minutes. So I said, wow, so that comes out to only, that comes out to 800 pesos for uh, 15 minutes. And she's like, yeah, that's what it comes out to. And then plus the room, which is like five bucks. And so that's one street girl. 
the other street girls that I asked on the main road, it seems like they're all kind of like got their their like uh, whores union, I like to call it, where the girls have a union and they all try to like fix the price of like uh, what they're trying to charge. So that way, whenever anybody asks, then it's all the same price. It was kind of like that. And when I went to Amsterdam, all the girls did the same thing. They were all charging 150 euros. I asked there. I just, I, w I wasn't really trying to bang girls in Amsterdam, but I was just curious and I did the market research kind of like what I did tonight. Um, well, right now, Tim is banging some girl and I'm waiting for him to get up here. So I figured I'll record this video for you guys until he gets out. I texted him, but he still hasn't answered. So uh, I hope his phone isn't dead and that he knows I'm here and he's gonna come up here. Cause we had an adventurous night tonight and I wanted to talk about the stories that we had uh, of like girls coming up to us, them fucking forcing us to suck their titties, putting our, putting our face in their pussy, you know, making out with us and like us not even calling them over, that them just coming over and trying to like please us and like making out with us. And they weren't even asking for, for drinks at first. You know, I think they're kind of learning now to kind of like give a little sample before they start juicing you for the drinks, which is a good thing, you know? And so we had an amazing adventure and that's what was happening is that, uh, you know, the girls were giving us a lap. This, this one girl gave me a lap dance for like 10 minutes and didn't ask for a drink. She was just like really trying to get into it and putting her titties in my face, forcing me to like, like boxing me with her fucking titties and forcing me to uh, suck on both titties and then uh, uh, would make out with me. And then I was like, damn, I gotta get this girl some drinks at least. Now I feel obligated, you know? They, they, they were being givers, not takers today. And then we went to another club and then the same thing happened again. We met these two sisters from uh, Los Mochis, which is in Sinaloa. And one was 22 and the other was 24. Tim got the 24 year old, I got the 22 year old. And that girl was so drunk. That girl was like fucking, we were like, they were dancing up on us. Like we were in a normal nightclub or bar. They were just like so fucking plastered and already buzzed and like wanting to party and drink. And like, you know, we bought them like maybe like six beers and uh, six beers each. And again, they were both making out with us. And uh, the younger sister, the 22 year old said, hey, come here. And she went on the table next to us and she laid down and spread her legs and she's all, come here, really come here. And then she like fucking grabbed me by the back of my head and fucking put my head into her fucking uh, pussy as she like moved her panties to the side. I was like, oh my God, at least it didn't smell bad and it didn't taste bad, but uh, you know, everyone was watching and it was kind of embarrassing, but you know, what are you gonna do? If a girl does that, you're gonna fucking have to take advantage of the situation. And so I wish he was here so we could tell the story together because it would have like, uh, you know, him sharing his stuff. Here's the, what happened with his girl. And while that was happening, I was thinking like, when I, I was watching him make out with a girl and she was like having him suck her titties, her, her tits. And I was like, man, this is such an amazing place. It's a place where even an old guy or an Asian guy like me or a, a weird guys, fat guys, ugly guys, awkward guys, we can all get the end goal here and be treated like a fucking king. And even if it's make-believe, at least feel like what it feels like to have a girl like into you and like give you the, the things that we all like fantasize about. Like they make the fantasies like a reality over here. And you know, a lot of guys will let the make-believe or the fantasy get to them and they really believe that it's true or they fall for it or, they get feelings and it's easy. It's easy for that to happen. You know, it's understandable when when you're at home and there's no girls around, especially if you're in the Midwest or some like town where there's not that many options and you're just stuck at home and you just go to work and you go home and you know, you, re you re repeat the cycle every day. You go, to home, you go to work, you go home, you watch TV, you play some video games, you browse your phone until you fall asleep and then you do it the next day all over again. It's just like, same routine and then you know just 
dreaming, fantasizing about banging your hot coworker is pretty much what majority of guys' lives are out there. But then here, you got all the hottest girls, hundreds of girls around you, and you can choose whatever you want, and your standards shoot up way high, you get more picky because you just like, it's like a role reversal, so you're like, I don't want that girl, but any of these girls, if they were all in America or they were your coworker, you would bang them, pretty much. And so uh, I was thinking that while uh, uh, I was watching Tim make out with the girl in Sucker Tits. And so I was like, what an amazing place. Equal opportunity over here, guys. And just because you can get that doesn't mean don't stop improving. That's like one thing I always preach with you guys. Like just because you can get to the end goal and get that fantasy and have girls like you, pretend to like you over here. It's no excuse for you to be lazy and not work on yourself and like not be overweight and like uh, not be broke. You gotta, I mean, be and be broke. You gotta be like doing well in life and be fit and like work on your uh, personality and all that stuff. So that way the girls will be more attracted to you. Not just girls, but both guys and girls will be attracted to hanging out with you. I always say that. But back to my uh, thing about the prices. You know, we didn't even bang these girls. The girls were asking us, so, hey, maybe, like, after we were all fucking drunk and uh, hanging out with them, you wanna have sex with me? And I'm like, no, I don't feel like having sex right now, you know? And uh, both of us, we kinda like weren't here to really have sex. He's like, I'm surprised you came out tonight. I said, yeah. I said, uh, I came out to come see you and he just arrived and I have a, a Jedi in-person meeting coming up, so he came early <coughs> and, uh, got a bunch of the guys coming through and so I'm gonna go across the border and go visit my family tomorrow and uh, come back right before the meetup and he came early and so uh, I had the guys networking everyone's coordinating and gonna meet up uh, beforehand the guys that are getting in early a lot of the guys are flying in from all over the US and it's not just from California uh, we got like I think majority of the guys are coming from outside of California, actually. So it was pretty surprising for me. You know, I, I like, I planned it for to. Be, I already had the Jedi Master in-person meeting last month, and then uh, or a month and a half ago, and then now I'm having the uh, young. This was supposed to be a young Jedi meeting, but uh, I had a majority of the Jedi Masters all come through. So I have like ten of them coming through, and. Uh, majority of our Jedi Masters and like maybe three of them are uh, young Jedis which two of them are like potential Jedi Master candidates that uh, make good money and all that stuff they, they make they, they qualify over the 100k mark for uh, making money but anyways going back to my point of uh, talking about the going rate uh, the street girls I went to the other side uh, the main street behind these clubs and uh, the girls over there are asking for uh, 800 pesos, which is roughly around 50 bucks. And then uh, that includes a room. Majority of them are, are saying 800 pesos for the all clothes off. There's Tim right there walking across. Uh, all clothes off, uh, two positions, BJ, everything, and, and, and the room for 800 pesos. 100 pesos for the room for the 20, and it's for 20 minutes. And then, uh, you know, uh, you give the girl 700 pesos, which is like 35, 40 bucks, you know, and then uh, you get to do it, whatever you negotiate. Always negotiate first because they're gonna pull the bait and switch with you when you get in the room. And so let's get to the club prices. So a lot of the girls are starting at 130 and like some of the girls that have been here a while, you can still get them for like 100 bucks, but like the, they're, they're 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 doing the whore uh what do you call it the whore union where all of them are price fixing it at 130 and a, a lot of them are starting at 152 and then you'll have the some of the girls starting at 200 so that's what the going rate is now guys and like it's up to you whether you want to pay it or not you know like if you really like the girl then do it if you can afford it and it ain't a problem and you like the girl then do it if it's a problem for you and budget is a problem then don't do it Go to the street girls and uh, or go to one of the other clubs where you can still negotiate a cheap price and then uh, get the great experience or the, the end goal that we all want to achieve when we come down here. But here's the thing with the street girls guys, 
Like you ain't partying with them, you ain't drinking, you ain't hanging out, you're just straight to the point. Go and like get straight to the honeymoon and done. Whereas like in the clubs, you get to hang out, you get to party, you get to dance, you know, get lap dances, get them on your lap and like make out with them sometimes if they'll let you and then get to talk to them and like really build a connection and then you can decide if you want to go up but you ain't doing that with no street girl that ain't gonna happen the most you could do is talk to her when you're in the room uh-oh there's the stud <laughs> what about that? the we stud the stud has arrived uh, uh, no it's a, a video oh, okay. so, i was recording the uh new going rate i was talking about the going rate for the street girls and I was talking about the going rate for the girls. Did you check out the street girls for the rates? Yeah, I, I, I asked all the girls what their rates were, and I kind of got a general consensus of what. Do you want a drink? Um, all right, I'll do one. Oh, okay, yeah. now. Okay, a tequila or a. Uh, the Grey Goose with uh, orange juice and some water and a cup of ice with water. He always is so generous and like, uh, he he bought all the ladies drinks and. Uh, Bought all the rounds. I got a couple rounds because I felt bad, you know. But he always insists on on getting all the stuff, which you know he's a giver, not a taker, and he's generous and he has a great fun spirit, and the girls love it and love hanging out and partying with him as well. And even though he doesn't speak Spanish, he still manages to have an amazing time, and you can too. Don't let not speaking Spanish stop you from coming down and enjoying. But anyways, like going back to the uh, prices at the club. They're all starting at 130 and uh, they're starting to become a little bit more transactional as well. Like some of them are starting at the 130 and then still trying to do like the street girl tactic where they're gonna ask you for a little bit more to do some other things for you. And which is kind of ridiculous and it's kind of, you're already paying overprice and they're asking to try and upchart, upsell you on a little bit more uh, services which normally came standard for the, the 100 bucks. and. You'll still find some girls that'll give it to you for a hundred bucks. And then in some of the other clubs, you might be able to get them down to 80, depending on if it's slow and stuff and if they haven't had any business. So, you know, like be prepared with inflation and the, the exchange rate going down. Uh, don't be surprised if you hear them say 150 or 200 bucks, especially if they're hot, they know they're hot and they're young and they ain't got kids, you're gonna get the $200 proposition. And like I said, if you could afford it, by all means, do it. If you can't afford it, don't do it guys. You know, or unless you're just trying to give yourself a nice Christmas gift or spoil yourself at once, once in a blue moon type thing, then do it. If you really like the girl and you're attracted to her, do it. You can always make more money, but the opportunity won't always be there for the one that you really like. Uh, the opportunity for having girls all over the place, that's here 24-7, 365 for over 20 years now. So you can come here and do that. Hola, what's up guys? Had to interrupt the video to bring you guys an important announcement. A lot of you guys watching, I've been receiving tons of messages from guys that are virgins, that haven't been laid yet, that want to get laid, and maybe guys that have already been laid, but they're not getting access to girls where they're at, so they want to get laid still. You know, these guys are getting taken advantage of, reaching out to escort strippers or whatever they're reaching out to, wasting all that money. If you really need help that bad and you want to do it that bad, reach out, I'll help you guys. We'll discuss whatever it is that you're facing. It can also be other stuff. Maybe you're heartbroken and need advice or need something to help you get over that heartbreak. Maybe you have a wife or a girlfriend where you feel like she's cheating on you or things just aren't the same. I can help you analyze the situation and get over it. I've gone through a lot of relationships already with girls from all over the place, all over the world, different places, you know, so I've seen all the things that they do. Been in long-term relationships, so I know what a marriage feels like. I know what divorce feels like. I haven't been divorced, but in a long-term relationship to where I felt like divorce pretty much. And so I've seen a lot of people go through it and I can help you guys that are going through these type of things too. If you need help, maybe like going to another place, uh, I can put you in touch with people in different places in part of my network or find people that are viewers as well that can help. That's why I'm doing this to get the word across of the things that I can help you with. Not just that, if you own a business and you're accepting credit cards and you're still paying the fees, you don't gotta pay the fees no more. You're pretty much just throwing your money in the trash. You can better off just using it on yourself, splurging, taking a vacation, enjoying like this in a pool in a tropical location somewhere. 
where there's nothing but palm trees around and tropical birds, that kind of stuff where the weather's perfect, you could be doing that instead. Or if you know, have some friends or family that own businesses that are still wasting their money paying the fees, you know, I'll be able to help. So I can help with a number of things and I'll be glad to you know, put you guys in the right direction. Same thing if you guys got want to go to Costa Rica, I got friends out there. Cancun, I got friends down there. Philippines, I got a lot of friends out there. So you guys need help on any of that stuff, reach out. I'll be glad to put you in contact so that way you can have a better experience all around. All right, talk to you guys soon. Adios. Hey, so talk, we're gonna tell, talk to him about, uh, we're gonna talk more about price with this girl you got tonight. We were shocked because she was hot. She was walking down the stairs and we both looked at her and I, she looked like my fucking hot roommate in the Philippines. And I showed her pictures. She's all, this girl's way hotter. But I said, no, this girl reminded when we looked at you and I saw you smile and you were like, saying like this and this and like going for the drink. I said, you look, you reminded me of my old roommate and I showed her pictures. And then uh, she came up and got some drinks with us. And then uh, she's from uh, Mexico City, but uh, lived in Cancun for a while and she learned English so she spoke English. So this guy was having an amazing time with her speaking English and then- Tell her about the job she had in Cancun. Okay, so we're gonna talk about how, well, I said, why were you in Cancun? She's off for work. I said, what kind of work? I said, you're working at the clubs? Were you an escort? What were you doing over there? No, she saw something different. And uh, she was saying that she worked on a yacht. And I said, oh, that's something new. I like that. That's something different that I've never heard about before. And I said, so how did that work? She said, so I worked for this company that charters yachts and then guys would rent it for like three hours. And then I said, how much would you get paid? She said, oh, we get paid good for three hours, but it's just not consistent. And I said, how much is good? She's all 500. I said, oh yeah, that's really good for three hours. And then I said, how many times you got to bang? A bunch of times or what? She's all, no, just once. <laughs> so she would only bang once and she'd get 500 for three hours and be partying on a yacht. She said it was a lot of fun and she met a lot of rich people and it was like a good time, good connections and stuff. But uh, that's where she learned, right? And Imagine renting a yacht and getting a beautiful girl with it. I mean, that's amazing. Right, what he said. And then I was, I, we were laughing about that in the club because I was saying, so the yacht, the, the rent a yacht service came with girls and she's all. The one that I work for, when they rent the yacht, it comes with girls. Yeah, she's beautiful. She was amazing. She was really good. So I only saw her like based when we were like sitting there and she showed us her titties and like all that stuff. And how was she, how was the performance? Well, you know, yeah, amazing, really. Wait, wait, wait. Before we talk about the performance, we were both shocked at the price. So let's talk about the price she offered. You you asked her first, because I wasn't interested in going up. Or yeah. doing anything. Yeah. Talk about what did she quote you for the price? Well, I, I just said, you yeah, want to six, though, and she said 100. And I thought, at this particular club, that's that's kind of an ancient history. It really is. Am I hearing from the best question? <laughs> well, uh, how much? And she said 100. And then I said, uh, Wait, before before we move forward, he was so excited, he, he's like, hey, <laughs> this girl said she'll go up for a hundred. Oh, so only a hundred. Yeah, yeah. She, he's like, only a hundred. And then I said, only. And we both like started yeah. talking about it. Yeah. Only a hundred. These girls are like fucking getting out of control over here. And then he asked her, go, go ahead and explain. What did you ask? <laughs> Well, then I said, uh, I whispered beer to you, Chupa St. Condon. Uh huh. Because this club is known not to do that. Right. And she said, Well, uh, Propina, and I said, Well, that's no problem. And then John asked her. I, I kept asking her. Yeah. I said, So, how much Propina do you want for, for that? And she's all, She didn't want to say. And I'm like, Tell me so I can tell him. Yeah. And then she's all, 30. And then he's all, What? 50? And then I, I said, no, 30. And he's all, all right, the smile, he got the smile on his face like the Joker. Yeah. And he's all, we're going to go up. Yeah. And then he just got here. He was gone. Well, I was already recording this video for like 15 minutes. And then I recorded a video before this for like another 10 minutes. And I'm like, I was getting starting to get worried about, hey, man, you all right? <laughs> it was good. Yeah. I texted him, I'm like, hey, I'm over here waiting for you. Are you all right? <laughs> yeah. I'll be there. I'm on my way. Really, uh, gave a, a real experience. It's probably the best experience I've ever had. That particular time on the first flight. Wow, and it was really good. So, like, uh, her personality was great. Just seeing her walk down the stairs and that smile, oh, yes, yes, sold us because we weren't 
I wasn't planning on banging. Yeah. And you weren't planning on oh, banging. I, I just got in. I was tired. Yeah. He just flew in and just arrived like a couple hours ago. And he's all, hey, I'm going to go. If I get in, check in early enough, I'm going to go for a little bit. But I'm just going for a little bit. Yeah, well, what time it is? <laughs> it always fucking happens. Yeah, it always happens. So, uh, when you when you see a girl like that, she's smiling and she's got a good personality, guys. And she was hot. We we he's like, hey, should we get her a drink? I'm like, yeah, let's get her. A drink. Yeah, so we I called her up, and, and then she's got she's attractive and just perfect body, but her personality really shows through. Yeah. And then she started kissing, which that's not a guarantee. And John says she's gonna get upstairs. When I was watching that. I'm like, oh shit, she's gonna be yeah. good upstairs, and just the way like they were hanging out and everything. Uh, it's it's kind of rare to find everything. You know, it's a beautiful girl. Right. Hey, let's talk about. How many girls we saw, how many hot girls we saw tonight just walking around over there? Well, it's amazing. I was telling John, you know, of course, I'm getting big here. And I said, I'm, I'm, I'm a senior citizen way past. <laughs> I said, here I am being so darn picky. I mean, when we saw like four or five hundred girls here on Thursday night, and this is a big club had a lot of beautiful girls. A lot of them. So many. Like, I ran into some girls that I banged before and said hi, and I'm like, hey, what's up, how you been? We only see each other on social media right now. Yeah. And then, like, I just wished him luck and told him goodnight. I, I said I'm here with him, so. Uh, oh, I can yeah, prepare a sister down below. They were fun. <clears throat> okay, so uh, we met these, these uh, sisters from uh, Los Mochis, which is like in uh, Sinaloa, and we were just doing a lap, really. And then these girls came up, they were like fucking so festive and wanting to party, they were drunk, and, then, and they were pretty. And I said, are you guys twins? They're all, no, we're just sisters, because they really looked like alike. I said, I kept asking, like, twins or sisters? They're all sisters. And one was 22, and the one, other one was 24. He got the 24-year-old, I got the 22-year-old. And, oh my God, let's talk about, like, what was happening in both occasions before we went to the main spot. All the girls we were hanging out with, we're making out with us. Yes. Putting their titties in our faces and forcing us, almost like we were babies. And they yeah. were wanting to breastfeed us. Yeah, you know? and it was amazing the, the passion they showed and the attention. You yeah. still get that at home. No, yeah. you'll never get that. But over here, and we don't normally get that. That, like it wasn't this aggressive no. before. We've, if, we've never experienced it this aggressive as it was tonight. I think this was the most aggressive. That's the first issue we're really getting on the end. They were aggressive in like wanting to hang out and party and like really, like they were being transactional or anything. Really really, they were like really just trying to party and have fun. Yeah. And they were like probably bored and then they saw us and had some drinks and they were dancing like giving it, like dancing more like we were in a normal nightclub. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's Even more so, the hot girls were chasing us. Then all the girls were watching. Yeah, all the other girls were watching that didn't have clients, they were all watching. Yeah. And like, I want to mention something funny that I observed too. Like, uh, when they were dancing, like they were in the nightclub, he was like, hey. Everyone's saying, What's up? Hola, amigo. All right, guys. Well, it's fucking uh, 2 30 in the morning. I just left him, just left to go back to his hotel. I'm going home now. And, uh, like, our video got cut, so we didn't get to finish our stories, but we got a majority of it already, but I'll just finish it off right now while I'm on my way home. And so, uh, you know, the story I wanted to tell while we were over there before we got cut off was that, uh, when the girls were dancing, the sisters were dancing with us in the club. You know, they were even like going all the way down and like getting on their knees and pretending to give a blowjob. And the sister that was with Tim, uh, he fuck, she fucking uh, was biting his cock through his pants, like giving him, like almost giving him a, like it was like giving him a blowjob, but it wasn't, you know, and. Like, it was a great experience tonight because the girls were, uh, I smell the lotion all over me, their, their, their perfume or whatever it is, most likely the lotion. Um, but we were like, every single girl that sat down with us made out with us. And 
like we were saying is they were more aggressive today than they've ever been before that we've ever been here and it was kind of shocking and we've been here a lot together you know and hung out with a bunch of the girls had a great time but today they were like way more aggressive and I don't know why there were enough clients to go around but there were still way more girls than there were guys it was a Thursday so it's not a weekend and uh, I guess they thought that the Thursday was going to be super busy but they make it what in 30 minutes to an hour what they would make in a week so it's hard for the girls to resist you know you know i appreciate the outreach the comments and the emails and if you can share these videos with a friend or also at the very least uh, just give it a like it doesn't cost anything or take more than a half a second for you to click the like because then what it does when you click like youtube will suggest the videos to other people that have the same interests as you so that's kind of like how the whole algorithm works and so that that goes and helps a lot too you know like if you're not writing comments or sending donations or whatever pressing like and writing a comment helps greatly as well you know because then youtube will know that you find it useful and that it'll start suggesting it'll know that it's a legit video that can help somebody and it'll start suggesting it to other people that are kind of like watching the same things that you're watching but i think i covered all the prices the the pricing for the girls and uh what they're starting at and uh what you can negotiate down to so that part is done so pretty much like our experience tonight was amazing i i feel bad that we couldn't finish oh before uh so like we saw this girl tim saw her crying and she was on her phone like he didn't understand obviously what she was saying because she spoke spanish but she came out to smoke and uh she smiled and I said, where are you going? Because she had all her stuff with her, like her bags and everything. And uh, I said, where are you going? She said, oh, I'm just going to go smoke. I said, oh, um, can we, you mind if we come talk to you and hang out with you while you smoke? She's all, sure, go ahead. And so she was really sad, you know, like she wasn't sad at first, but when I started talking to her, um, I said, so where are you going? Why do you have all your stuff? She said, oh, they wouldn't let me come into work because I arrived a little bit late. And so she started crying and she's like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know where I'm going to stay. She's all, I only have half to pay for the room. She's not from here. And so she's all calling everybody she possibly can. That's why Tim heard her crying and I was translating, I was telling Tim the story, and, uh, like, we both felt bad, and, uh, you know, we are talking to her, she was super nice, and, uh, we took a couple pictures to remember, and she gave me her contact information, and, uh, Tim, uh, told me to ask her, I was telling him, I'm like, dude, they didn't let her work, and she has no money, she hasn't, doesn't have enough, to pay for the room and uh she was like literally crying in front of us and we felt so bad and i asked her i'm like hey how much do you need like how much are you missing to uh get a room here tonight and she's like 600 pesos and she's like 35 bucks and so uh tim being the generous guy he was gave her 40 bucks and she's all oh my god thank you so much you guys are like sent god sent you you guys are like guardian angels and he gave her another 20 bucks he gave her 60 bucks and she's all no 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 i only need uh 35 bucks to pay for the room she's all, he's all no merry christmas you know like that's the thing you know like when you surround yourself with givers generous people not takers you know you become blessed and everyone around you uh gets blessed as well and you become you have more blessings come your way he he just told me he came from vegas and he won the poker tournament over there he won like a thousand bucks 
on the t poker tournament and I said you know why you won I said because it's your good karma and you're so generous and you like to take care of everyone else and that's just like you're just enjoying uh, some of it coming back God gave it to you because of you always being so kind and generous and I said enjoy it I, I, it's better than losing and not getting anything for it and when that girl she just kept saying seriously seriously thank you so much I, I I'm like I'm shaking right now and I don't know how to tell you thank you enough and I kept telling Tim, he's all, yeah, I can understand. I could see it in her face. And she was just crying and crying. Like, we're all, stop crying. It's okay. You're okay now. Uh, hopefully you can, you know, make some money, enough money and work tomorrow that uh, you'll be, have your stuff covered. And then I got her information in case. And so, super pretty girl, like really pretty. And she was just so, the, the, the feeling, you could feel the genuine uh, appreciation for her, uh, being so thankful and he's all man he's all i can't stop that when we went we went to the club after to have one more drink before going and we were just like talking about it. he's all man i can't stop thinking about that girl how like he's all it was like a christmas fucking miracle you know it felt so good to like see her and just a little bit uh went a long way for her so i just thought i'd share that with you guys you know kind of like how our our night ended up and uh you know i got when we were sitting down, a girl just came up, started making out with me, who looked like Mia Khalifa with the glasses, but just minus the fake tits. And she's born and raised here in Tijuana. And she was showing me pictures of her little husky puppy she just got. And I was telling her, oh, I live here too. And I said, I was showing her pictures. She said, oh, the beach. I said, yeah. Next time you come to the beach, we could go walk the puppy. She was like, oh, I would love that. And so we're going to come walk the puppies and it just was like so crazy the amount of of girls there were so many with not enough clients for them to each have one so they were all like you could sense them like almost like the the desperation in the air to where they were willing to go above and beyond to try and please and try to get you to help them or give them a drink buy them a drink give them tips or try to get you to go upstairs that's where the big payday is but yeah like that's what I was saying like to Tim like both of us have never seen the girls be this aggressive before and it was an amazing time you know like I said every girl that sat down with us like really stuffed their tits in our face and made out with us and it was just like wow we're like we felt like we were at a club just meeting a girl and like uh hanging out with them and then being able to make out with them so it was an amazing night so I just thought I'd share that, close out the video uh, since it got cut off and uh, we couldn't finish. And, uh, you know, I got the uh, Jedi in-person meeting coming up in the next few days. And so um, I wanted to, Tim's here early, so I wanted to meet up with him and uh, say what's up in person. And then we're going to meet up again in a few days when everyone else gets in. So I'll share that experience with you guys as well. Um, when everyone gets in and how a lot of them are going to be first timers so I'll, I'll try and get like their reactions as to their their what they thought and uh, uh, if their their recommendations and how their mind was like blown <laughs> literally figuratively both um, by coming down here because a lot of them have never been here and they're from like way far away in different parts of America so all right well, that's it for now guys hope you have a good night and uh enjoyed or helped inspire you to uh wanna take the plunge if you've never been out and enjoy and uh hope you have a uh happy holidays um feliz navidad feliz año prospero merry christmas and a prosperous new year all right and if you're watching this after it don't matter get your ass down here and uh, treat yourself to you know, the Christmas gift that you didn't get from anyone else during Christmas. The best Christmas gift you can ever get. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Adios. Pura vida. Buenas noches. Feliz Navidad. Happy New Year. Guys, it's finally here. I got the Jedi group open. 
and I got a website put together for all you guys that can reach out to me instead of sending me an email. The website's 420john69.com and pretty much everything you need is listed out on the links above and the links ab links below. So if you're interested in a Jedi group, if you're interested in uh, getting help with a trip, relationship advice, credit card service, real estate, affiliate programs, pretty much anything that I'm talking about, business, investments, it's all on the website, so that way you guys can help me help you a lot faster. That way I don't miss out on any of the emails and it'll help me stay in touch with you guys even if something happens to the channel or the Instagram or whatever, if everything gets taken down or blocked by the platforms, I'll still have a way to get in touch with you guys. So go ahead and go to the website and pick whichever link that you need help on and fill out the information and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Look forward to seeing you there. All right, talk to you guys soon. Adios, pura vida. All right guys, so I'm putting together these groups, the, my Jedi Master Inner Circle. So there's going to be two levels to it. You're going to have the Jedi Masters, which are the guys that are making 100K or more per year at least and have been well-traveled, have a lot of experience and know of different places that we can go to experience and find beautiful girls and be able to share amongst everyone and give advice to other people as well. And then we're also gonna have the young Jedis that maybe aren't as experienced or just starting out in life or are young and don't really have much money, but they wanna live this lifestyle. They're being inspired and they wanna start and learn and be able to communicate with each other. So that'll be the second level. And of course the Jedi Master level can will be in both so that you'll have the Jedi Masters also helping the young Jedis by answering questions uh, for people that are new and then the Jedi Masters, what we're going to do is have like trips maybe once a year where all of us Jedi Masters come together and have go to a destination where we'll be able to experience all of this together and share and network and share financial advice, how to make money. It'll be how to make money, how to deal with breakups, how to meet girls, pretty much everything that you're seeing on my, vid my videos that I'm teaching, we'll be able to network and do it in person and put, put together these groups and meetings for people and kind of be my, me as the connector, connecting all of you guys together because I'm getting all these messages from people from all walks of life in different parts of the world. And a lot of you guys tell me that you don't have anyone to share these experiences with or share your stories and share all the knowledge that you've uh, accumulated throughout the years. And once you communicate with me, it's like you're spilling your entire story because you're so excited to tell someone finally because there's no one else you can take. You can't tell your friends, can't tell your family, and there's no one you can ask questions. There's no one you can uh, share these intimate details with. And so I wanna bring you guys together with other like-minded people that are watching my videos and kind of wanna live this lifestyle as well. And let me know which Jedi master uh, or Jedi part level in the inner circle that you wanna be in. There's gonna be either the young Jedi or the Jedi masters. And the Jedi masters is gonna be for you guys to join that's the, the screening process and then we got the young jedis for flux that way it's affordable and the fight is to screen out obviously if you're doing well there isn't much and then it keeps out the people that aren't serious it's kind of like the how to weed out the people that aren't really real and of course there's going to be moderation and there's going to be like con content moderation where i moderate who gets in and interview the people that want to come in to make sure they're real and that way everyone that's in the group is actually there because they want to be and that they share this similar outlook on life and want to live this type of life and level up even more, make more connections, make more friends, kind of like me and Tim, the 72 year old that you've been seeing interview and other people you haven't seen in my videos uh, that I hang out with. It'll be kind of like being into the inner circle and make, make these kind of bonds that will last a lifetime and these kind of memories that we can share together and have some awesome adventures together. You guys will be invited once you pay the entrance fee and then we'll get you in. All right, guys, that's it. Adios, pura vida. You say adios, baby. Adios. <laughs> Bye. Well, like, guys, if you uh, coming down here to Cancun, Playa del Carmen, I have friends down here as well that can take care of stuff. If you're heading down to Costa Rica, I got friends in Costa Rica that can help take care of the stuff, you know, help uh, assist with transportation and activities and lodging and things like that. And then the business that helped me live this life is the credit card service business. So if you own a business and you're still paying the credit card fees, you don't have to do that anymore. Stop wasting your money be enjoying it every month instead of like whatever you're paying to the bank a thousand two thousand to the bank every month you take it and go on a vacation look at the ocean how beautiful it is down here and the weather is perfect it's so early in the morning I'm already sweating it's tropical 
and like uh, people are swimming down there if you could see and I, the only thing I wish that was down here is the that there was more waves but like I said if you own a business uh, you don't have to pay for the fees you can use it for vacation take your family out reinvest in your business or whatever it is you want to do on with it it's just it's way better than wasting it paying it to the bank and getting nothing in return so that's it all right that's it for now talk to you guys later adios